The world record for the fastest throne card is set by Rick Smith Jr. and is 148 kilometers per hour or 92 miles per hour which is absolutely insane. I'm not gonna try for the world record but I am gonna try for half that maybe could be doable. Before learning to throw fast, however, I needed to just learn to throw. There are tons of ways to throw a card, but the most common one is to grip the corner of the card between your index and middle finger and move your arm in a motion that is somewhere between a baseball throw and a straight punch while simultaneously flicking the card away with your wrist and fingers. It should look something like this. For me, though, it looked like this. I have thrown cards when I was a kid as well, so it was quite easy to get into it and it only took me about an hour to get some decent technique and accuracy. Keeping the wrist really loose and relaxed and trying to get like a whip, like just let, let the hand loose to get the maximum amount of rotation. I guess was, it, it helped so much. But adding speed, however, was not easy at all. Just like in any sport really, when you go for maximum power you usually lose a bit of accuracy. But when that means that your result is absolute trash, it can be pretty frustrating. After a few hours I started to get really sore in my arms so I had to take a break. It's been a while, but uh, I'm back and I brought my cards and I even bought two packs of new ones because I think that when you're gonna throw your absolute best you cannot be throwing cards that look like this, like all, all chopped up. Let's see if I still got it. It's gotta be like a month or two since I did this before. Okay, decent. Like I said, we're gonna try to focus on speed and from what I know from other kinds of sports what you wanna do to get maximum speed is to use maximum amount of your body from your toes to all the way to your fingertips. So what I'm really gonna try to do is incorporate the arm and the upper body in a way that I haven't done before because previously I just kinda throw it with this part, I wanna throw it with the entire upper body. Although most cards went straight to the floor, I did hit a few dingers, of which the fastest one actually was a bounce shot off the table. That's some power! <laughs> it doesn't feel great. Feels like I only can get good speed when I go really slowly. It's so much about technique. At day 3 I finally started to see some results. I made almost every throw and the goal of 74 km per hour didn't seem that far away. And wouldn't you know it, after just over two more hours of practice I threw my fastest card yet. A whopping 86 km per hour or 54 miles per hour. Let's have some fun with it though. <laughs> nice. 